having weightage of 7 marks. So you are going to have two questions for one mark. So total two marks and one question for five marks. Even the question numbers are fixed for these question number one and question number two and five mark for five mark question question number twenty eight will be from solution chapter. Now if I say solution, so generally you are going to have certain things in your mind that is sugar mixed with water or salt mixed with water. So there are solutions. Along with those type of solutions, we are going to have some more type of solutions. So generally how we define solution is it is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Now, we know homo means say so homogeneous means they should have similar properties homo means same so they are going to have similar properties or uniform properties solutions of uniform properties are called as homogeneous solutions And it is a mixture of two or more substances. Now, if you consider two components or two substances, it is called as binary solution. And if you take three components or three substances, then it is called as tertiary solution. For given syllabus, we are going to have only binary solutions. That means that two components, binary solutions. means it is having two components. Among these two components, the components are one is solute, the other one is solvent. The first component is solute, the other component is solvent. Now, which one has to be considered as solute and which one has to be considered as solvent? The substances which are present in smaller quantity or very minute quantity, they are called as solute. Smaller quantity or very minute quantity, they are called as solute. The substances which are present in larger quantity, they are called as solvent. So, in a solution, one will be present in larger quantity, that is called as solvent, the other one will be present in smaller quantity, that is called as solute. Now, if you mix solute and solvent, you are going to get this solution. So, if you mix solute with the solvent, you are going to get a solution. Now this is solvent. It may be solid, it may be liquid or it may be gas. Generally we have an assumption that solution means liquids. So it may be a gas, it may be a solid or it may be a liquid. So this will determine the physical state of the solution. So solvent that will determine the physical state of the solution. So based on the state of solute and solvent, solutions can be further classified into three different types. So, types of solution. I will make columns. So first one is type of solution. 
description, the second column is sodium. Now the solvent phase is liquid, hence it is a liquid solution. If I take liquid, mix it with liquid. Again, we are going to get a liquid solution. If I take solid and I mix this with liquid, so this is also a liquid solution. Now let us look into the common examples. So gas mixed with liquid or liquid, liquid, solid, liquid. So gas with liquid that is oxygen or carbon dioxide dissolved in water. So oxygen dissolved in water, that is called as dissolved oxygen, which is very important for aquatic life. And carbon dioxide dissolved in water. So you might have heard about soft drinks, Pepsi, Coke or soda water. So there, if you open the water, you are going to get some type of effervescence, that is due to the carbon dioxide dissolved in water. Next, liquid-liquid solutions. So in liquid-liquid solutions, ethanol mixed with water. Ethanol in water. Solid in liquid. Salt or sugar dissolved in water. And the 
last type of solution is solid solutions. So in solid solutions, the solvent phase will be solid. If I consider solid as gas and solvent as solid, so that will give you solid solution. Liquid solvent phase is again solid and solid. Solvent phase again solid. Now, since we have considered solid in the solvent phase, we are going to get a solid solutions. Common examples gas mixed with solid is solution of hydrogen in palladium. Solution of hydrogen in palladium. Liquid in solid. So that is gold amalgam. Gold amalgam. Mercury dissolved in gold. So mercury that will be in liquid form. Gold that will be present in solid form. That is called as gold amalgam. And solid solid. That is 22 carat gold. So there are two types of golds. 24 carat gold and 22 carat gold. 24 carat gold is a pure gold. Whereas 22 carat gold that will be mixed with some amount of copper. So copper mixed with gold is an example for solid solid solutions. Now if you observe these solutions here solvent phase is gas so it determines the properties of this gaseous solutions. So that means always the solvent phase will determine the physical state of the solution. So gas if it is present as solvent, we are going to get gaseous solution. But if it is liquid, then we are going to get a liquid solution. If it is solid, then we are going to get a solid solutions.